So here we have sessile trillium. Sessile meaning stalkless, and as you can see, the flower comes up without um, that being attached uh, to, to a stalk. It just comes almost straight out of it. Trillium's everything in threes: three leaves, three sepals, three everything. Um, this is a this is a woodland ephemeral wildflower. It comes out in the springtime before the trees leaf out. Produces everything it needs to. Stores everything in the roots before the trees leaf out, and then dies back. Comes a couple of color forms: a yellow, green, mostly, and then this beautiful maroon when you get every once in a while. Now, unlike a lot of other plants, this one's main pollinators are beetles, click beetles, to be a matter of fact. And as you can maybe see, there is a click beetle right there on this particular plant, and there's more right there. In my experience, it seems to be. Oh, here comes another one, just landed on the plant. My experience with this is that those are the main pollinators and beetles are kind of messy pollinators. They consume a lot of the pollen. And so what ends up happening is they come to this plant and they come to it to get two things. One, they get food, but they also, since they're already gathered here, they use them as little mating stands. Little orgies usually take place inside here. Now, I have not opened this one up, but I'm very curious if there's actually anything going on inside the actual leaves and if there are beetles. Actually, so I'm pulling aside everything. I do not see a lot of. Oh, oh, there are beetles in there. It's very difficult to see them. I don't know if you can make them out, but there are beetles inside there. All could doing what beetles do this time of year. Now, Cecil trillium uh, are not very common plants. Um, it can take uh, between three to seven years for individual to bloom. So this is an older plant, and you're very lucky that it has bloomed, um, and hopefully it'll get pollinated by these beetles or something else, and then produce um, produce seeds. The seeds that it produce are marmacocris, meaning they're dispersed by ants. Um, the, uh, they produce a special little attachment onto the side of the seed, called an eliasome, sometimes a caruncle. And this growth, it's basically uh, a growth of proteins and lipids, sometimes even exudes different kinds of pheromones at certain uh, ants find uh, delectable. So they come over, take the seed, take it back to their uh, nest, where they discard what they consider the uh, unedible portion, which is the seed. And when they do, they put it in their little trash mittens, which means it's a nice, rich place um, where it's protected, it's been moved, and it's been planted in a rich, fertile ground to grow. And um, so ants are the main dispersers for these things. Uh, so you can thank the ants for these beautiful displays of this beautiful wildflower. Uh, and again, these are sessel trilliums, sometimes called toad shade trilliums. Um, I guess they could provide shade for a toad, but sessel or toad shade trilliums are most common here in the D.C. area trillium wildflower. A beautiful, beautiful spring wildflower. Again, this is the moon colored ones. You oftentimes can find a light green version as well, even in the moon. Oh, and here comes another pollinator. Oh, and he did not land. Again, it's mostly beetles who pollinate these things.